Broadway's biggest night only comes around once a year. We're here on the red carpet for the 2015 Tony Awards with a recap of the winners. In the bathtub this morning, I, <laughs> I was um, just thinking about how different our life is from five years ago. I was working as an actor, but not always consistently, and I was reminded how, how lucky we are to, to just have a job as an actor. I just can't, I can't believe it. That's all. How's it going down there? What you got? Um, it's obviously uh, unreal. Uh, having one is, is, is enough, and this truly is an embarrassment of riches. It's, it's an incredible honor. I'm floating. When producers and artistic directors look at young artists, um, and this is true of men and women, it's the way we're programmed. I think people take chances on men based on their potential and they take chances on women based on their accomplishments. And you can't learn theater without doing theater. And so hopefully if this accomplishes anything, it's that people will look at young women and see potential in them and give them the opportunities to learn their crafts. My mind went absolutely blank. And as I walked up to the stage, I was, I got really frightened because I was trying to start thinking about what I was going to say, but nothing was coming into my head. Um, it was honestly like one of the highest adrenaline moments in my life. I feel, it feels extraordinary to be holding this. It, I feel like I've won it for my character, Christopher, and for people like Christopher, people that he represents. Um, so that, I feel like that's where the victory lies. It, it was just me and my mom. And um, when you have no one else in the family to really go to or um, to vent at. Your mom becomes your worst enemy. But at the same time, I knew that she was all I had. And in hindsight, my mom is my, my mom is my everything. She's a, a single mom. She worked three jobs. Um, she didn't always have the time for me and she wanted me to be more than she was. And she pushed me hard and that was hard to deal with. Um, but now I see that she sacrificed. Those, those weren't just three jobs. She was sacrificing her life so that I could go to college. I was offered the, um, the, the part of Cromwell in, in, in Wolf Hall, um, uh, but they had to make a very quick decision. Well, I had to make a very quick decision about it, and our producers told me, um, stick with the audience because it's going to be coming to Broadway and it had been very good to me I'd won the Olivier for it so I decided to stay with it subsequently it didn't go to Broadway the following year it came this year at the same time that Wolf Hall has come so um, I would have been in direct competition with myself <laughs> so actually I'm, 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 now that I have this I'm very glad that I stuck with the audience my gosh, I completely lost my mind. Uh, I don't know if that was obvious, but <laughs> um, you know, you, you wait till the very last second, even when you kind of know that you won't uh, with a little bit of a, a dream in your heart. And uh, when they did say my name, I think it just blew me away. You know, oh, oh I, I see why you're asking because it was really, really professional looking. And, uh, and I think that, uh, yes, absolutely. Um, that is called Shuffle Off to Buffalo. <laughs> Um, very poorly done in Jimmy Choo sh shoes, but when you're that excited, you just kind of, uh, you lose your mind a bit. So it was just, I thought they were going to tap me off, so I thought I'd beat them to it. <laughs> in ways I'm sure that I don't even recognize yet, because um, I'm a slow learner, um, it's, it's made me a, a much more open-hearted person, I think. Um, I think it's made me look at, at at uh, prejudices of my own and um, assumptions of my own, even with people that I feel very close to and feel very accepting of and suddenly realize I'm not or haven't been as much as I, I could be. I don't think I'll do it again. I'm sure Her Majesty is sick to the up, sick, sick to the teeth with me. Um, but um, no, uh, you know, it was, it was a tough call actually to do the play even because um, you know the film had been so successful and as an actress you really don't want to repeat yourself and so on and so forth but um, but it was such a clever play and, and it was also such an incredible challenge for an actress you know you have to go from <clears throat> age 26 to 89 on stage um, just in a flash like that so you know it, it was a real it was a wonderful sort of acting challenge so in the end I couldn't say no you know how it goes, there's always so much more we can't fit in, but you can check it all out on our website, pix11.com slash Tony's. I'm Tamsin Fidel, let's send it back to you.